versus Max, and I do have to wonder, what will these players be going? Because we've seen Verdant whip out the uh, we've seen Verdant whip out the fox. We've seen and Max has a fox. I'm going to assume Huff because I swear, like, I think speaking to Jamie. I mean, Jamie's in chat, so they'll probably say. But like, lots of these puffs will always be like, "Yo, I'll play Puff versus Fox, and then Puff for I mean, sorry, Puff for everyone else besides uh, Puff." Okay, so it's literally just just the, the Puff counter pick. Okay, so we're expecting either Puff Sheik or Puff Fox. I'm. Yeah, yeah I'm it's, assuming it's it gonna be funny, Fox. Yeah. I'm not sure. No, no, no. Uh, Jamie just confirmed it. He said uh, Vedant only goes uh, Fox for Puff, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Yes. No, no, no. But Max, I'm wondering what Max is going to go. Because uh, I can speak personally. Max does have a Fox as well. Um, but I'm going to assume Sheik. I'm going to okay. assume Sheik. Makes a lot of sense. Probably got Sheik Puff coming up, which is kind of weird. Because I remember when, like, um, what was it, CEO, when Pluff was playing Hbox, everyone kind of wrote off Sheik as... A viable matchup for Puff, but now, you know, if you've been watching like Jamu, if you've been watching Base Roll, I don't know, all the, all the nerdy sheiks, then they make the matchup look very doable. Uh, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna get roasted by all the puffs in chat for this, and maybe all the sheiks as well. But I honestly think the matchup is like borderline fifty fifty. Hmm. I mean, I would say mm, in Puff's favor still, like. A little, little bit. Yeah, maybe, but it's like 55-45 at worst. It does Curious. not get worse than that. I truly do believe it. Curious to see what... Okay, Stylo's saying cracks fucking tank. <laughs> uh, so you're curious to see what Jamie says. I know there's solo battles around there somewhere as well. I like Kingu's take that it's close, but Sheik plays the matchup wrong. Yeah, I absolutely agree. I think the matchup is played very wrong right now. Okay, are we going in? We are going in, and we will be watching Sheik versus... And, um, you've probably got the mic for this one, because you can speak from experience on this matchup. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. I, I can absolutely speak from experience for this matchup. Uh, maybe not on the level that these two players are, but I can vouch a couple, about a couple of things. Um, so, in my opinion, I think Sheiks use needles atrociously in this matchup. I think they just they, like they try to scrap a lot with Puff when it feels like it's a lot more favorable to just charge needles and have the puff come close to you. Um, it's definitely it feels, a weird matchup. It feels like from the Sheik side, being right next to them almost feels super unfavorable just because, you know, puff can hold down and suddenly rest you if you just with the grab or something, which is the most dumb thing ever. I'm so glad I had to blow for that. Um, it, it's like the only, I think, I feel like it's the only bad part about this matchup. Both bad and obviously getting camped when you're down the stock, but outside of that, it's honestly very doable, and I, I, I think that, um, Sheik's, yeah, I, I feel like Sheik's contest puffs far too much. Um, okay, finds the little fair. Yeah, I feel like Sheik's contest puff uh, contest puffs with back air far too much. I feel like it needs to be done a little more with needle than it does with back air, or not even contest. Sometimes just like whole needle. Um, it's a weird matchup. I think. I don't know. I I, I think I think Sheik Sheik has a case for it being 50-50. And absolutely has a case for 55-45. So I think Max is playing it fairly well, but I, I, at the moment I'm feeling the damage is the advantage of it. Yeah, yeah I, I feel like uh, Max tr tried to force the down tilt a little too much there. Didn't quite work out. Verdant was ready for it. That should be a stock, though. Yeah, Max taking the lead back. It's a matchup that... Okay, nice. Finds a little needles. Duh. Goes for the back air for whatever reason. That's fine. Ooh, yeah, fully charged needles going hell of a hell of like hell of a lot further than even matchup in, in this uh, set. And thirty-seven percent on Puff going forty-seven, but 
I also, I also like how Max uh, challenges Puff with forward air rather than back air. I feel like I'm not quite sure why. I haven't looked into it. I definitely need to look into it into it more. But she feels like she fairly comfortably ch challenges Puff with forward air in certain situations. Mostly in situations where um, sh uh, Puff is in frame disadvantage or like minorly frame disadvantaged. I mean, you forget how aggressive she can be with there. I remember, like, what she. Ooh, I remember what watching back when Hamzy used to play a bunch. Like, the way Bailey's there was, like, hell of a Yeah. It's weird. You, essentially, the way this matchup plays out a lot of the time, it feels like you have uh, you have patterns of, like, uh, puff back airing and cheek back airing. Um, and you need to find a way to create a slight advantage so that you can start pressing harder than your opponent. And Max wraps it up and takes game one. Yeah, very... I feel it was, like, fairly clean as well. Max, Max's movement's looking pretty good there. Yeah, it was really clean for Max. Really, really well done. Um, Where are we going, Freezy? Where are we going? Uh, FD. F FD is horrible in this matchup. Although, I do think that if i found a lot of success personally that if she, if she just like starts holding needles and just holds the needles and never moves and just lets the puff fall into uh, into them it feels like it's really decent for she there's just some um kind of white information I just dug up. Uh, so they haven't played in like a year bear in mind but the set history is actually three two to the dance Damn, okay. Very close. Yeah, the, the, this could be looking at a 3-3 right now, honestly. Um, yeah, this... Oh, that should be it. Yep. Stock one going over to Max. Yeah, this... If Max chooses to just sit in a corner now and charge needles... Puff's not exactly gonna struggle, but as long as you just like take some time, charge your needles, and then move, uh, move aggressively when the puff approaches you, it's it feels like it's really rough for the puff. Yeah, and I'm like slowly kind of remembering stuff in this matchup. Like I think I, I, oh, is that, no, that's not no, so it's not gonna um, be a kill. I mean, you I forget that like I feel like she actually has some kind of decent kill confirms on puff, like you know down for a bear, probably the most common ones. Yeah, of course. Uh, it, the only problem is that it's really hard to land because you're ta you're taking a bit of a gamble with it. Um, these needles, I feel like, are going quite far for Max. I kind of forget how many in a matchup like this is quite hard. Yeah, needles are, like I said, needles are really important. They feel like the key to the matchup, honestly. Yeah, like, you kind of bread and butter for this matchup, you know? Yeah. Oh, nice little down air and top air. That should kill. Wow. Yeah. Damn, very early kill. Four to one in terms of stocks. That, like that, for example, was a really risky for uh, approach from Max. If uh, Verdant called it out, that would have been a back air. Just a reminder, this is this is Verdant's counter pick, by the way. I forgot that. This is Verdant's counter pick. Like I said, like this matchup is a, this matchup is a snowbally matchup. I feel like it feels like whoever starts losing really starts losing. This is also, um, of course, the case for, uh, for Sheik. Unless we see, unless we see Clutch Box come out a bit here, uh, it's looking like we're going to two zero max. Yeah, this is this is rough. But yeah, it's honestly really hard for Puff when uh, when Sheik starts getting the advantage because Puff really struggles to touch Sheik as well. Yeah, just a four stock from Max, just like that. Um. Like I said, it's incredibly snowbally. Whoever gets the advantage just runs with it. It's really easy to run away with an advantage in this matchup from either side. And uh, I would be shocked if we don't go back to Dreamland. But then again, you know, when you get that's that was their counter pick, bro. <laughs> I don't know. I I think FD is fucked up in this matchup, mm. Tr or more like I think it's traditionally fucked up in this matchup. But I do believe that. 
if she just stands her ground a little bit more because Puff doesn't have any platforms to sit up with, uh, sit up and right. She can't just yeah. perch in a platform. So if she just stands her ground and starts charging needles and keeps track of Puff's jumps, suddenly it feels a lot more doable. Yeah, if you're just and... sorry, I go on. I, I wouldn't feel too uncomfortable in a matchup, I feel like. It's just, especially watching Max and seeing what they do, um, it doesn't seem too bad. But, uh, yeah, taking a little while here to figure out what stage to go to next. I don't really blame them. Yeah, Verdant kind of lost here. Not really sure if Dreamland or FD is the correct pick. Three, yeah, we'll be going back to Dreamland. Two, um... Two, two, I also think that tilts at low percents are a really big part of this matchup that Sheiks don't take advantage. There's like a bunch of stuff. Oh. Wow, it was a vital pull out there to knock down. Oh, nice. Little double catch there with the with the fair. Ooh. It seems like the Dan can't find their soul, but whatever soul searching they just did. Just Might have possibly worked out for them. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Max. Like, a lot of crouch power shielding. I don't know if you noticed that. Yeah, Max is, um... Max right now is looking for a run-up nair, which is really good to get, to call out a puff. But... Verdant's just not falling into it. Absolutely ready to deal with it. Uh, crouching and power shielding it. This could be a kill. Not quite. Max getting a little greedy. Okay, this should be a kill. Yeah. Three stops of peace, uh, but Dan already looking infinitely better here. Yeah, uh, it's looking a lot closer than it was previously. Yeah, a little drop through Needle. Um, needle is a very safe way to challenge Puff. But Forward air. I was kind of shocked. It looked like unstale Needle was like 70%. That's what we're doing, which is like crazy. Yeah, of course. It, it, depending on the range, again, it, range, it gets 16 to 18%. Yeah, I didn't even have a range actually. It, yeah, it does. It's because of uh, how and how needles or entities are considered at different ranges. Every day, man. Yeah, at closer ranges, it's 16 because it's tightly packed together and considered like one hitbox essentially. At farther ranges, it's because it spreads out. It's considered uh, like different hitboxes. Oh, <laughs> that air could be huge. Oh no, the back air. That should be it. Yeah. Um, but Dan looking completely different now. I'll be dead. Not quite. Yeah, pulling the trigger a little too quickly there with the needles. Two stops a piece, but Dan, I think looking mega comfortable right now. That oh, that could have been a rest. Verdant realized it a little too late. And look at the, the scent already. Ooh. But Dan, I'm looking super strong on these rests. I mean, they super duper needed one of those. Okay. Let's watch. Okay, he finds a little forward air. Yeah, Max reali uh, smartly realizing that they need to back up a little bit there on the platform. It doesn't actually work out. Oh. Okay, oh no. I think there's been three rest up oh, We can wish as one. That's gonna be a death though. Yeah. That should be death for Verdant. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Two. Okay, four. Two. 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 Possible. But Max seems to. Max seems to just be throwing the needles a little too quickly there, which. Uh, I see the advantages of, advantages of, but I wouldn't be throwing them so hastily. But then again, what do I know? <laughs> yeah, I mean, but Dan doesn't seem to be pushing. Oh. Yep, like just like that, calling Radon out with a nair. Hey, every single knockdown I see, I just get so scared from Max. Yeah, it's terrifying as a sheik to get knocked down. Oh no! Oh man! Oh, that was really nicely done, but it's not gonna kill. Oh, that down smash was 
Oh, that down smash was just absolute panic. Oh, that backer's gonna kill. Okay. 3-1 to max. 3-0, actually. I'm crazy, I'm crazy. Yeah, I went 3-0. Very, very, very close, though. I'll, gi I'll give Fedant that. That's a very good showing for them. Uh, out, out at a uh, clean 7th place, I believe. Yeah, 7th place.